everyone, welcome back. I recently noticed that on my Pennywise tutorial where I make this tank top, you guys had a few questions, one of which was what is the washability and the durability of the vinyl. Um, I'll try and zoom in, but it still looks brand new and I've washed this plenty of times. So the ink and everything stays on great. The foil vinyl, which is also Craftables brand, has been holding up great as well. Um, you guys were asking, some of you asked how I got my design to be so big. I did not. Um, I printed the maximum size that Cricut allows you to, which I believe is 9.25 by 6.75. The only reason why the design looks bigger is because I added regular vinyl, the foil vinyl below it to give the illusion that it's bigger. Um, but there is a way that you can get it to print larger than what I printed, um, but it will require multiple pieces of printable heat transfer vinyl. So if you have um, multiple pieces to spare, then this is your answer. Also, um, in the video, I grabbed each individual letter after I printed and placed it um, by hand onto the tank top. I just recently found out that Craftables now offers heat transfer tape. Some of you mentioned this in the comments saying that um, it would have been much easier for me to have used that. I didn't even know that existed. I'm still learning as well every day. But I was just told that Craftables now offers it on their website. So hopefully soon I'll get my hands on some and then I could create another tutorial um, showing you how to use it. So as far as I know, you basically just use it like you would um, regular transfer tape, but it is um, for heat transfer, printable heat transfer vinyl. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so I'm just going to show you really quickly how you can get this design to print bigger than the max the maximum allowed on Cricut Design Space. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you really quickly how we do that. Okay, you guys, I have my project open. What I'm going to be doing is selecting a shape. I will be using a square. And what we're going to do is use the unlock feature to make it the same width as the we all. And what we're going to do now is select it all. And we are going to use our slice tool so that we now have two separate pieces. We're gonna get rid of the gray area because we do not need it. And now um, each piece is still too big for the printing cut. So what we're gonna do is take our slice tool again to slice these in half so that we can get them to print. As you can see, it still says my image is too large because they are too, too wide for printing cut. So I'm gonna take a square and what I'm going to do is remove the grid lines and change the background color just so that I can get a better visual of um, the letters and this way I don't accidentally cut into the letters because um, we just want to cut around them. So what I'm doing is making it the size I need it to slice we and all separately. Again select, use our slice tool and get rid of the gray area. Now the we all is fine um, to use um, for our print and cut. As you can see in our size um, panel and we are going to do the same thing to float. We are going to take a shape once again. I'm using a square, it's the easiest for me to use. Use the unlock feature. Highlight over the F and the L, making sure not to cut into those letters or the O. Hit our slice tool and get rid of the gray once again. Now when we go to hit make it, everything should be um, cut, I believe, onto three. Yep, three separate pieces. And um, what you would do is just piece them together, which we can now use um, Craftables heat transfer tape to make it much easier and that is how easy it is to get this design specifically to cut larger than the allowed um, amount in Cricut Design Space. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>